Hello everyone, by this point I'm hoping you've seen the HHMI Biointeractive video about Dr. Lassos and his work with anole lizards in the Caribbean. And the lab that I want to do today is directly related to Dr. Lassos's work with some of the actual pictures and some of the actual data that he was able to collect. If we go on a Google search, I'm trying to do this through Chrome because I know some people are on Chromebooks, some people are on Macs. I want to make sure that everyone's able to do this, so I'm just going to go HHMI Virtual Lizard Lab. And from there, I should be able to find it. Okay. Virtual Lab, hopefully this is the right one. The other thing I want you to do, this is not actually the... We want to actually go to the lab itself. This is the lab itself. We also want to have a Google Doc open because this will be the backup reservoir for your data. This should be shared with me. We'll call it um, Lizard lab and it should be shared with me at mark eastburn at pps dot princeton k12 dot org that way I'm able to make sure you were able to make some progress with this if you are unable to see a screen like this, you will have to go to start over. You may have to log in. If you can't, if you have to log, if you have to, if you don't see all of this information, you may have to sign in first. Now I'm just signing in from Google. I'm using my school Google account. Now that I'm signed in, it should be able to record data from you. If not, I will post some data that you will be working with, but I want to make sure that we really get a handle on how this works. Now there's a video here that can help familiarize yourself with what the activity is. We have four different modules for today and probably on Thursday as well, we'll really only work with the Ecomorphs module because it should take a little bit of time to do this. So I'll click on Ecomorphs. Here's my introduction. Of course, please read the introduction. Don't just click through. You'll want to group these lizards into certain categories. There are tutorials that show how to do these things. Uh, some of this is going to be some self-directed learning. You're going to have to figure out how to work with these things. So you're going to make measurements off of these lizards. If you're really not sure how to do that, there's a tutorial that will explain it. And again, part of this for today is just to familiarize yourself with how to work with all of this, these tools. You're going to be grouping these, which is the first goal. You're going to label them. And then from there, you're going to do that on your own. You're going to be measuring their traits. This is where I want you entering the data onto the Google Doc. you'll see that there's different lizards you're going to either measure through a toe size or an x-ray. Let's look at one where we measure the legs first. Okay, so your goal here will be to measure, I'll click on hind limb length for example, that's the length of the legs. I want to start up here where the bone goes into the hip, the, the femur, the thigh bone goes into the hip. I want to measure to the knee, 
I want to measure down the the tibia and fibula, the two bones in the leg. And really that's the leg length, so that would be uh, record measurement, 10.4 millimeters. Body length, start at the top. I would want to measure down the body. And then that kind of measures to the what we call snout to vent. The vent is the area where the tail begins. It's kind of there's this thing called the cloaca, which is kind of a place where the poop and the pee comes out of the lizard. They have one opening instead of two, as in mammals. That's where we want to measure to. You can kind of see the tail starting right here. I'm going to record that measurement. And then the tail length. If you're having any difficulties, this is where you can contact me. You may also use data like I have, so you could actually pull the data out of the video. I'll give you some sample data from things that I measure. And I'm at the tail tip, record the measurement. I'll save this and continue. It should save it. Now you're actually probably going to want to, whoops, make sure that your data is saved. That was the wrong lizard. Just measured this one. Yeah, my data is saved. What I want to do here is lizard I'm going to do HL for hind limb length, and that is 10.4 millimeters. Body length, BL, is, whoops, 34.0 millimeters. And tail length is 39.5 millimeters. Now what I like about this is this is exactly what Professor Lassos did with his research. The species is Anolis occultus. I forgot that I wanted to have a title for this species. Another thing that's important is that we don't just grab my data that we actually get your own you actually get your own measurements from this lizard because the only way to ensure accuracy is that many people do this and we try to find a a length that is kind of maybe someone does it a little bit higher maybe someone does it a little bit lower we have to have, need a va average of many many different values in order to make this make sure this is actually an accurate number. So 39.5. All right, from there, I can move on to another lizard. You have to kind of be careful which buttons you're using. As I noticed, I, I used the back button. That took me somewhere I didn't exactly want to go. Let's find the ones that we only want to get the measurements I think that would probably be a good enough measurement for today. Hind limb length. Clear that. Again, I'm going from where the bone meets the hip. And I'm measuring the hind limb. Toes can be varying length. We're only focused on the hind limb here. Record measurement. Now I go, this species is a Cybotes. And here we have the hind limb at 33.3. You may notice already, this was one of those twig anoles Look at how much shorter the leg is compared to this one, which was 
much more looking like one of the trunk ground anoles. Body length. This will take a little bit of practice. But try to gather the data on the lengths. Again, I'm going to where the tail begins and the body ends. That's right about here. Record the measurement and then tail length. Tail can be a little bit more challenging. You may have to log in with Google, but all of you do have a Google account. This seems to work better in Safari, although Chrome right now is working okay. I'm a little bit off there but fairly close. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask for today is that you take a measurement on all of the lizards. Ooh, so we wanna save. Make sure you save your data. I almost lost everything right there. Let's go to all of the lizards where you're able to measure the body and get measurements on those species. I won't worry about the toe pads today. We'll just measure the lizards. From there, we should be able to get a results table. But if we can just enter the data in here and I completely forgot to enter those data, which is right here. HL 33.3 .3 body length. Sixty five point four. And tail length one hundred twenty seven point three. If we can get this started today, I'll be happy. If we should be sure to share the stock with me and then at our meeting at 11, you should be able to, we should be able to see where we can go from here. So thank you for watching.